Combat Robotics is a sport that is practiced worldwide. It attracts all kind of participants from all ages, especially those interested in engineering, machine design, computer science, new technologies, and their trends. The competitions involve one-to-one -one duels between radio-controlled robotic vehicles in a bulletproof arena. To win by knockout, one robot must be able to disable the opponent's robot or to throw it in a dead zone in, a, in the arena periphery. The robots can use any kind of mechanical weapon to accomplish that, such as hammers, axes, blades, saws, spears, flamethrowers, and even launching arms that can throw the opponent several meters high in the air. Projectiles and gunpowder, however, are not allowed. Each combat lasts up to three minutes. If there's not a knockout, a panel of three judges decides the winner based on the performance of each robot, awarding aggression and damage points. Similarly to boxing, the robots are divided in weight classes, which range from the very light 150 gram ferry weights to the astonishing 340 pound super heavyweights. Competitions like these stimulate the builders' creativity, allowing them to apply their knowledge of physics, mathematics, mechanics, electronics, and programming to build real robots. The focus of combat robotics is on construction, not destruction. Any damaged robot will provide knowledge to build improved and more resistant systems. In addition, any co contestant may give up and stop the fight at any time to avoid costly damages to his or her robots. The experience that builders get from the building and testing process can be applied in several systems such as power wheelchairs for the handicapped, rescue vehicles, anti-bomb robots, service robots for dangerous environments, inspection robots for the oil and nuclear industries, and control systems for countless applications. There are several combat robot leagues all over the world, in special in the USA, the UK, Australia, and Brazil. A few of the many broadcasters covering these events are CNN, Discovery, BBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, MTV, and the History Channel. The RoboGames competition is the largest robot competition in the world. Considered as the Olympic Games of Robot Engineering, this event takes place annually in San Mateo, California, USA, counting with several countries. It includes more than 70 robotic sport categories, from combat to soccer, hockey, basketball, sumo, dancing performance, and even human-operated exoskeletons. Besides RoboGames, RioBots competes in two annual events held by the Brazilian League RoboCorps, the Summer Challenge and the Winter Challenge. The competition is open to any builder, including experienced engineers and teams from high-tech companies. It is not unusual to see in such events a skillful amateur hobbyist winning over a robot designed by rocket scientists. This is the fun of the sport. Anyone can participate in it and eventually win. RioBots is the robotic competition team from the Pontifical Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It was created in January 2003, initially only focused on combat robots, but now starting to compete as well in other categories such as robot sumo, robot hockey, and line follower. The team is formed by control mechanical and electrical engineering undergraduate students from the university. It is coordinated by Professor Marco Antonio Magellaro. The objective of the team is to allow the students to learn and practice about several areas involved in an engineering project, such as mechanic and electronic design, material science, programming, teamwork, and marketing. They have the opportunity to apply in practice the concepts learned in the classroom. They get the know-how in the arena to complement the know-why learn in the engineering classes.
2006, Rearbot started to compete in RoboGames, according to the Guinness Book, the largest robotics competition in the world, gathering more than 800 projects. Five years passed and our team achieved impressive results, including 8 gold, 5 silver and 2 bronze medals in various classes from combat to autonomous swarm. Each class has its own challenges. Combat robots are one of the best ways to test different materials' behavior. On the other hand, autonomous robots rely heavily on embedded computing and fuzzy logic. However, the greatest prize is knowledge. After all, students compete against people that work on important technology companies. That exchange is crucial to form better professionals since being at RoboGames is the best way to learn. I'm Cara Suboy, CNETnews.com. We've all heard of the NFL and the NBA, but what about the RFL, the Robot Fighting League? Here in San Francisco, this is the Guinness Book of World Records, the biggest robotic fighting league competition in the entire world. And the name of the game is to destroy, fight, and kill your opponent. You guys traveled all the way from Brazil. Why do you make the effort to come to this event? Because it totally pays off. It's fun, it's, you learn a lot, you meet a lot of interesting people. How much money would you say you spent on this? More than uh, 10,000? Oh, way more. Oh, way more, more than 20,000? Uh, way more, probably. 50,000? Yeah, I, th I think that's that kind of money. about the robo games where robots of various kinds compete to smash each other, grind each other up, flip each other, just push each other around the ring. Well, let's take a look at how some of these machines are made. So Marco, you're from Brazil, right? Yes. From Rio? Rio de Janeiro. Okay. That's a, you've come a really long way to the Robo Games. Yeah. We started competing in 2006 here in Robo Games and it's really worth it. This is Toro Lights. Toro means blue in Portuguese and it's a lightweight. Yeah. And uh, it spins this drum at about uh, 6,000 RPM. Uh, and what happens is that when an opponent gets close to it, it's thrown up in the air.